Good day everybody, Vanessa is one here and I'm going to get straight into the questions today. There's something I want to talk about towards the end of the video here. Fight for my country. Hey Vanish, would you be interested in uh, modes like air superiority for jets only, tanks only, chopper only game modes? Uh, I think there are going to be other game modes that they haven't quite released yet, so one of those might be for fighter planes only, I don't really know. So it'd be good to see. Uh, the speed velocity. Hey Vanish, what's your opinion on players with veteran status over 8. I don't really have any special opinion about people with a high veteran status. It just means they've played a lot of Battlefield games and that's pretty much all it means. They have a lot of experience with the, the genre and that's probably about it. Guild Tree. Hey Vanish, do you have any gaming headsets for Battlefield? If so, what? No, I don't have any specialist gaming headsets. I just... Well, I had a pretty good sound system, I should say, really. I do have a sound system but it's broken at the moment I've got to get a new one the receivers all fucked up but yeah when I was using it it was up and running um, the sound is pretty good you know I have it cranked up quite loud so I can pretty much hear everything that's going on okay fish teffer what's your f oh, I think that's it what's your first love in video games I had a really good game on the Commodore 64 called Pathfinder that was I just cranked the shit out of that game it was really really good just explore and you know you have this little vehicle and you collect all these artifacts it was, it was really cool I just cranked the shit out of that game on the Commodore 64 that was really back in the day mate uh, my name is Mr. Nut and I vanished what's your favorite loadout when you play medic uh, I like to run the ammunition upgrade on the medic and always magnum ammo really uh, yeah that's pretty much it I like the type 88 LMG the most but I'm running the PKM at the moment until I platinum it Okay, the Donut of War. Do you play on PlayStation 3 or just Xbox and PC? Just Xbox and PC at the moment. More Xbox than PC. Though I have been playing PC over the last few days quite frequently. So Optic J Big Balls. What's your audio setting? War tapes, hi-fi headphones, TV. I use the war tape setting. I find the sound better on that one, so I've stuck with it since pretty much day one. Okay, I got an interesting question. This one I really wanted to focus on was uh, from Pazza78. Yo, Vanish, do you think our troops deserve more respect and money than the average footy player? Because I feel putting sporting figures above those who serve and die for the country, it's bullshit. I have to agree there. I think there are a lot of things wrong with the way we treat our soldiers these days and the way they have been treated in the past. My father had quite a rough time when he came home from Vietnam. He was spat on at the airport as soon as he landed by a young girl. And that kind of thing was very frequent when the soldiers came home from Vietnam. They were called baby killer and all this kind of stuff. Now, I'm not denying there were tragedies in that war and certain soldiers and certain outfits did do certain things, you know? But to say every person that serves in the armed forces is some sort of murderer is asinine. It's bloody beyond stupid. They are trained to kill. It's not something they hide, you know. Their objective is to find the enemy, kill the enemy. And they're not going to sugarcoat it for everybody saying, oh, fluffy bunnies and all this kind of stuff. It's what they do and what they have to do to survive. Now, when they're put in a situation, it is kill or be killed. So, I think people need to understand that these men go, uh, men and women, go through an extraordinary set of circumstances that make them different from us, from a, a normal everyday civilian. It makes them different in so many ways. I mean, emotionally, physically, spiritually, it changes them. And I don't think we, as a you know, as a community, quite understand what these people go through when they go off to war and when they come back home. I don't, really don't think people get it and it really bothers me over the span of my life I've seen my father go through a lot I've seen his friends go through a lot a few of them didn't quite make it along the way with their whatever it was whether it was guilt or just could not deal with what they had seen or heard or or done but it's what they needed to do to get by whether it was you know throwing a grenade into a room full of people whether it was watching you know their mate get blown up by something that looked like a, a coffee can sitting on a bloody log and he picks it up in the next second you know your mates all over you that's the kind of thing I don't think people understand how that sort of situation changes you as a human being 
Oh, I have no personal experience, so I can't really say, but I've seen it. I've seen how it affects people, how it changes them, and it's not a pretty sight. Now, there was one comment left on the video that kind of pissed me off where it said the average soldier, you know, sits there repairing Humvees and rarely goes out on patrol and all that. That's a load of shit. Now, there's a quote I'd like to read. It's from Kenneth O. Preston. He's the longest serving sergeant major in the U.S. military. Every soldier is a rifleman first. Every soldier is a warrior. Every soldier must remain proficient as an infantryman. So they're not less than uh, hands fucking length away from their weapon at all times. Whether they are working on a Humvee or not, they are still soldiers. And they still re deserve all the respect, whether they are fucking repairing a Humvee, or they are patrolling, or they're just sitting on a fucking bench looking at something. They're a soldier always, regardless. And they deserve our utmost respect for what they do. And that's fucking a fervent belief of mine. And I'll fucking have words with anybody who says otherwise. Be it fucking God Almighty himself, mate. So, yeah, that's how I think about it, mate. Footy players, fuck them, mate. They're a bunch of fucking druggy little whinging bitches who get paid to do something they love. Yet we've got soldiers who risk their life on a daily basis, leaving their families and loved ones alone and without really knowing what's happening to them from day to day. And they get disrespected, treated like shit, called murderers, and they get shit pay. So yeah, I think it's a load of fucking bullshit, mate. So if you have the opportunity to donate, spend some time with, help out any veterans that come back from the two wars that are going on at the moment, veterans that are still alive from Vietnam or World War II, take the time, get to know them. I bet you they got some fucking stories and I bet you you'll never meet a more gentlemanly person in your entire life. Because they are fucking true gentlemen and warriors, mate. So there we go, yeah. I'll catch us again next time and thanks for watching.